find the unit digit when a number is raised to some power. Hello, welcome to yet another quiz. Today we'll take some questions on number system. Here we have the first question. In this question, we have to find the unit digit of this expression. And these are the options. Let's see which is the correct option. The trick involved here is that when numbers having 0, 1, 5 and 6 at their units place are raised to some power and power can be any power then the result we obtain also has 0, 1, 5, 6 at units place. So what this means is that if we have 126 raised to power 125 so this is given in the question 126 raised to power 125 and we can see here that the units place we have 6. So when such a number is raised to power of 125, in the result at units place, we will have 6 only. Similarly for 141 raised to power 150, here at units place we have 1. So digit at units place will be 1 and likewise for 125 raised to power 126 the digit at the units place will be 5 and for 150 raised to power 141 the digit at the units place will be 0 so we can see here that in these numbers, the digits at the units place are 6, 1, 5 and 0. So the digit at the units place in the result of these expressions will also have 6, 1, 5, 0. And if we have to find the digit at the units place for this result, then we can add these up. On adding these up, we'll have 6 plus 1, 7, 7 plus 5 is 12. So sum of the digits at the units place will be 12. And from this 12, we can know that in the result, the digit at the units place will be 2. So, A is the correct option. Let's take the second question. Okay, guys, let's see whether you can do this question or not. So, here we have to find the unit digit of this expression. That means when we simplify this expression, what will be the unit digit in the final answer? And as always, these are the options. Let's see which is the correct option. For solving this question, the trick which we will use is that if the unit digit is 4 in a number and the power is odd, then in the answer, the unit digit is 4. And if the power is even, then in the answer, the unit digit is 6. And the other trick is that if in a number the unit digit is 9 and it is raised to an odd power, the unit digit in the answer will be 9. And if it is raised to an even power, then the unit's digit in the answer will be 1. So this is the expression which we have to simplify. And this will be equal to... The first number here is 54, that means the digit at the unit's place is 4 and the power is 99, that means odd power. So let's apply the trick here which we have learned just now. In 54, the digit at the unit's place is 4 and the power is odd. So in the answer, the digit at the unit's place will be 4. Plus, in 99, we can see that the digit at the units place is 9 and the power is even. So, the digit at the units place will be 1. And this gets multiplied with this expression here. And here we can see that the digit at the units place is 4 and it is even power. So, the digit at the units place will be 6. And here we have the digit at the units place as 9 and it is odd power. So the digit in the units place in the answer will be 9. 
So this is equal to 4 plus 1 is 5 multiplied with 6 plus 9 is 15. So this will come as 15 fives are 75. And the digit at the units place here is 5. So in our answer, that means in simplification of this expression, the digit at the units place will be 5. So the correct option is option C. Let's take question number 3. Let's see if you can do this question or not. Here we have to evaluate this expression and the options are these. Let's see which is the correct option. The trick which we will be using here is this. So look at this chart very carefully. So in this chart we can see that if in a number unit digit is 2 and if it is being raised to power 1, 2, 3 or 4 in the final answer the digit at the units place will be 2, 4, 8, 6 respectively. Similarly in the case when in the given number the unit digit is 3 and powers are 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 in the answer the digit at the units place will be 3, 9, 7, 1 respectively. So we have similar information for units digit being 7 and 8. Let's use this in evaluating this expression. Let's start with 162 raised to power 162. So here we will write 162 raised to power 162. And now we can see that at the units place here we have 2. That means we'll be looking at this column. But the problem here is that in this column we have power still 4 only. And here the power is 162. So when such is the case, what we do is, we take this power, 162, divide this by 4. Remember, we are always dividing by 4 here and we find the remainder. So what we are concerned with here is the remainder only. So the remainder for this will be 2. Once we've obtained the remainder as 2, then what we'll do is, We'll take this digit which is at units place and raise it to the power of the remainder. So that will be 2 raised to power 2 is equal to 4. So this implies that in 162 raised to power 162, in the final answer, unit digit will be 4. Next, we'll take 197 raised to power 150. So, 197 raised to power 150. So, here, the digit at the units place is 7. That means we'll be looking at this column. And once again, we have the same problem here. Here the power is 150 and here we have powers till 4 only. So here also we will divide the power 150 by 4. Remember we are always dividing by 4 to find the remainder. And let's find the remainder here. So remainder here will be when you divide 150 by 4 the remainder will come as 2. And now we'll take this digit at the units place that is 7. Raise it to the power of the remainder. So that is 7 raised to power 2. So that means this is 49. 49 means that here in 197 raised to power 150, the digit at the unit place will be 9. Next we'll take 543 raised to power 540. So this is 543 raised to power 540. So here we have 3 at units place. So we'll be looking at this column. So here also what we'll do is that 540 is way beyond power 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we'll take power 540 divided by 4. Find the remainder. So remainder here will be 0. 
So this is very important here. When the remainder comes as zero, then what we do is we take the digit at the units place that is three here. And for the case when the remainder is zero, then we raise this digit at units place to power of four. So when the remainder is zero, power is four. And this will come as three raised to power four is, we know that this is 81. So that means for 543 raised to power 540, the digit at the units place will be 1. Next, we'll take 698 raised to power 638. So this is 698 raised to power 638. Here we can see that the digit at the units place is 8. That means this column here is in business. And what we'll do here is once again, we'll divide 638 by 4 to get the remainder as 2. That means we'll raise the digit at the units place that is 8 here to the power of 2, that is 64. So here, the digit at the units place will be 4. Now we've found the digit at the units place for all these four expressions. Let's put the digits obtained at units place here. So first square bracket. For 162 raised to power 162, we will write 4. Multiplied by 197 raised to power 150, we'll write 9. Plus 543 raised to power 540, the units digit obtained here is 1. Multiplied with 698 raised to power 638, so the units digit obtained here is 4. And we can just simply evaluate this. 9 fours are 36 plus 1 into 4 is 4. So this will be 40. That means units digit in the final answer will be 0. So the correct option here will be option B that is 0. This is the answer.